Hey everyone, this is the second quick how-to video I'm doing on Dynatrace and Open Telemetry. If you want to do what you see here, but with traces, check out the other how-to video. It's in the same playlist. This video, though, will show you how to generate log line data and get that into Dynatrace via an Open Telemetry collector. So this is what the end result looks like. You're going to push two log lines, the first without any additional attributes, and then the second with two additional attributes, uh, the first being a string type and the second being an integer type, and they will be visible in Dynatrace alongside all of your other observability data. So the architecture looks like this. We're going to use Log Pusher, which is an open source tool to generate the log data. Log Pusher will send that to an open telemetry collector. The collector will be configured to push those log lines into Dynatrace, and then we'll visualize it in Dynatrace. So let's jump into the demo and see this in action. So of course, the first thing you're going to need is a Dynatrace tenant. Once you have a tenant, go into your tenant and go to uh, access tokens, and then create yourself an access token by clicking the generate new access token and give your token the ingest logs permission. Once you have your Dynatrace access token, take a note of that. And then again, the link to this scenario um, is in the description, but launch the killer coder scenario. Wait until it says installation complete, please proceed. And then click start and basically just follow the instructions. So modify the config.yaml file. So I'll flip across to the editor. I'll add my API token in here. And then I'm on a, 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 a sprint environment, a pre-production environment, but um, you should just have to change the ABC12345 to your tenant ID. But your configuration should look something similar to that. Of course, again, I'm on sprint. Uh, you'll be on .live.dynatrace.com, uh, but the end should be slash API v2 OTLP. So what you've done there is you've configured the open telemetry collector. So the kind of middleware layer to forward data, uh, log data to Dynatrace. So let's go ahead and start the open telemetry collector by uh, just running that command. And then we'll open a new tab, leave that running in the background, open a new tab, and we're now ready to push log data into Dynatrace. So let's just push a very simple log line. And if it all works, you should get a 200 response back from the collector. Scroll down a little bit. Log Pusher actually gives you the ability to push uh, log attributes. So these are key value pairs. So I'm going to push a new log, a second log line with two key value attributes. The first foo equals bar is implied to be a string. And the second, I've actually specified that the one, two, three is actually an integer value. When it gets to Dynatrace, we can do cool things with it, like filtering for less than and greater than. Flick into your Dynatrace tenant and go to the logs screen. I like to flick into advanced mode because it gives me full access to the Dynatrace query language that I can leverage this data with. So I'm going to fetch logs. I'm going to set my scan limit uh, in gigabytes to one gigabyte of data. And I'm going to set get rid of my sampling ratio. I don't want to sample these log lines at all. I want the raw data. And there we are. You see we've got the content and uh, on the... Log line with the attributes, we've actually got the foobar user ID one, two, three, four as separate attributes. So there you are. That's how you can get individual log lines into Dynatrace via an open telemetry collector. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another quick how to video.